Howdy, this is Edward from Valarm. Does your organization need a cost-effective way to remotely monitor industrial IoT sensors like piezometers, pressure transducers, tanks, manage water resources, or track fleet vehicles, trucks, and trailers with industrial equipment? In this video, you'll learn how to use tools.valarm.net, aka Valarm Tools Cloud, for industrial IoT and remotely monitoring Geocon 4500S piezometer sensors, aka pressure transducer telemetry. Try saying that phrase 11 times quickly. With Valarm Tools Cloud, you can literally monitor anything, anywhere, and have real-time access to your asset information from anywhere in the world. You can view it on maps, graphs, 2D and 3D maps, dashboards, and anyhow else you need it with our open APIs. For this step-by-step -step video tutorial, we'll show you how to link tools.valarm.net to your geocon piezometers and pressure transducers. If you haven't already linked your sensor hubs to tools.valarm.net, you'll need to do that first, following the How to Use Valarm video on www.valarm.net. On shop.valarm.net, you can get your sensor hubs for uploading your sensor data via 3G GSM cell network, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi. On shop.volarm.net, you can also get any sensors you need, like GPS sensors, temperature and humidity sensors, 4 to 20 MA sensor standard adapters, and the RS-232 sensor adapter you'll need for each of your Geocon piezometers. After you've logged in to tools.volarm.net, make sure you've got the latest version of the Virtual Hub software running on your computer. After you launch Virtual Hub, we'll connect to localhost colon 4444 in your favorite web browser to configure your RS-232 sensor adapter from shop.valarm.net. Plug your RS-232 sensor adapter into your computer for initial configuration, or connect to your sensor hub with the RS-232 sensor module and click Configure. Towards the bottom of the window, you'll see a Manage Job Files button. Click that one, and we'll set up a new custom job file so the RS-232 module can communicate with Geocon 4500S piezometer. Click to edit a brand new empty job file, then click to edit a brand new empty task. Now the kicker on editing your task to talk to Geocon 4500S pressure transducer piezometers you'll want to add all the commands and arguments you see here. Due to the ASCII data format of the piezometer data logger, you'll need to send some commands, like enter or carriage return in hexadecimal format. The first command, write hex 0d, sends a wake-up call to the data logger, so it's alert and ready to go and get some work done for you. Let's give Geocon piezometer data logger a moment to wake up, have a coffee, get rid of any drowsiness before we tell it more commands to do. With this command, you'll tell the RS-232 sensor adapter module to wait 500 milliseconds before sending the next command. Since now your Geocon LC2 data logger is awake and bright-eyed after its siesta, you're ready for a piezometer sensor reading. So we'll write the appropriate command for a vibrating wire data reading. X. To send our request for a piezometer sensor data reading, we'll write hex 0d, aka carriage return, CR. Get yourself ready for Geocon piezometer information. The final task you set up will receive a piezometer sensor reading and store each of its eight data values into a generic sensor variable that's sent to tools.valarm.net. Use the expect command and eight float arguments separated by commas to receive the Geocon vibrating wire data and store each piece of the piezometer pressure transducer sensor reading in generic sensor variables. That's it. Save everything and set the startup job of your RS-232 sensor adapter to the default.job or whatever name you put for the job file you just created in the previous steps. Now your piezometer data is being sent to Volarm Tools Cloud. You can map your Geocon piezometer sensor info to any fields or channels you want. Then you can use the custom sensor renaming and alias functionality 
to change the sensor names to just what you want for your pressure transducers or any other industrial IoT sensors you're using with tools.valarm.net. You can see an example of this in this Valarm Tools Cloud screenshot with custom names for Geocon piezometer values 1 through 8 that are coming from your 4500S vibrating wire sensors. That's everything to get you and your organization going with remotely monitoring Geocon piezometers on tools.valarm.net. One last important note, if you want another way to connect generic RS-232 and other serial sensors to tools.valarm.net, have a look at our Upload CSV Input Parsers to upload more than eight sensor values at a time. Have a look at our blog post and video tutorial on CSV input parsing for more on this. And please don't hesitate to contact us at info at if you ever have any questions and we'll help you get your remote monitoring needs satisfied. Have a look at our blog and customer stories page on www.valarm.net for stories on how organizations around the world are using tools.valarm.net to monitor stationary and mobile industrial assets in all industries. You'll see things like how governments and companies monitor air quality, how to effectively monitor and manage water resources, and how to track fleets of vehicles, trucks, and trailers loaded up with industrial equipment like tanks, vacuums, and pumps. We can also help your organization with custom web dashboards so you and your teams have access from anywhere to widgets, maps, graphs, just what you want to know about your remote assets like geocon piezometers and pressure transducers. Please don't hesitate to contact us at info at valarm.net if you've got any questions. We're happy to help you, your teams, and your organization make sure your industrial IoT and remote monitoring solutions are working exactly how you need them. Thank you for watching.